Dear Dr. Heavenly, I'm starting to see that you are the one that's dealing with insecurities, and you need to check that. Y'all don't know what time it is, I got the black bean neck on. So what's going on, y'all? I was about to do a black bean neck and go in and drag Dr. Heavenly. I was so upset and irritated and disgusted by the comments that she made about Dr. Kendra on this latest episode of Marriage to Medicine in LA that I decided that I don't want to come on with that type of energy. Um, I really want to talk to Dr. Heavenly so she can understand that this has to stop. It has gotten completely out of hand. So to refresh some of you all's memory who have not been paying attention, Marriage to Medicine um, has an LA edition um, and there was a doctor named Dr. Kendra, um, who is a, um, you know, a fat black woman. And I, when I say, when I call someone fat, I'm using it in a positive way. Um, Dr. Kendra is a beautiful woman and there's nothing wrong with being fat. That is what we are dealing with. Fat should not be used as a negative connotation, should not be used in a negative way because there's nothing wrong with it. And someone's health doesn't have anything to do with how you should treat them. It doesn't matter if they're fat, skinny, any of that. But oftentimes in society, we see that fat people get the bad end of the stick, especially fat, black, dark-skinned women, which is why I will always get on this platform and I will always take up for them because I know what it feels like to experience that type of stuff. So... Um, Dr. Kendra made her way on this episode of Marriage and Medicine, and Dr. Heavenly um, made a comment about Kendra's stomach being out in the crop top after she had just got through praising Jasmine, a thin, light-skinned woman. Now, I know some of you all are, oh, Justin, here you go with the light-skinned stuff, da 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 I don't hate light-skinned folks. I don't. But I understand how colorism benefits light-skinned folks and how it hurts dark-skinned folks. Now, let me say this. I do think it is trash for light-skinned folks to get, quote-unquote, bullied and mistreated because of their color of their skin. But we're talking about systematic. It is not the same thing as a dark-skinned person missing out on opportunities and resources compared to light-skinned folks. That's it. I'm not going to talk about it too much. So, to see heavenly praise Jasmine, if that's her name, and then go and disrespect and say ugly things about Dr. Kendra. And if anything, Dr. Kendra and Dr. Heavenly can relate to a lot of things. They're both fat black women. Dr. Heavenly, you used to be fat. You still are fat. You have an issue, sis. And... I think this is the reason why you don't have any friends and why your sisters and your family probably don't talk to you. And it also explains the reason why you're always on YouTube live and you're always talking to folks on the internet because you don't have no real friends in real life. Sis, you making a comment about a woman's body who just got through having a baby is disgusting. It is complete gutter trash that woman just had a child and if you were a doctor you will understand that a lot of black women have dealt with medical racism to the like to the fact that it is hurting black women who are pregnant a lot of black women are losing lives and losing their children's lives because doctors are not listening to them when they complain and they make comments about what they are experiencing in the doctor's office in these hospitals so for Kendra to survive all of that, everything that's been thrown at her, and then the first thing you're going to say is, well, she had her stomach all out. That's why people wear crop tops to wear their stomach out. I don't, it doesn't matter how big or how small or how medium the stomach is, it's a stomach. I wore a crop top to have my stomach out. So you don't get to determine who should and should not have their stomach out. Dr. Heavenly. So... I'm really confused of why you are so adamant of making a comment about Dr. Kendra and her body after meeting her within a few seconds. But then we, we whined a couple of seasons ago when you had to gather 
Dr. Jackie for saying something ugly about a fat woman needing to lose weight. I wasn't offending her, but educating her. Because the leading cause of death in black women is heart disease. But people don't so it would be that wrong. all the time, especially in a bowling alley. I was offended that you said she was not healthy. Because so I just sorry. lost 70 pounds, and I know how it feels that you can take that away from somebody. So you didn't when think had, you were healthy? I did it for myself. I did it to look better. I want to be at my best always. Best but you can't yeah. ridicule. When you made that comment about Mariah's uh, mama, I knew what you was talking about. And I want you to tell us why you think Mariah's mama is ugly. Cause that is that that's the stuff I'm talking about. That's the stuff you, you do that gaslighting stuff where you'll make a comment or you'll sit up here talking about insecure. Dr. Kendra was about to get with your ass. And she had to pull her stuff out because baby sis, they said she's from South Central. Sis was about to get in your ass. Okay? And I'm telling you now, they saved you and you was not ready for that, honey. You was not ready for that fight. You was not ready. You was not ready for the energy that Dr. Kendra was about to serve you because bitch, she was about to get you together. And she had every right to get you together. Not about her being insecure about her man. It's because this is probably the first time Dr. Kendra has heard some trash stuff like that said about her child's father. You out here making these jokes, you make the same comment about Mariah's husband penis. So what, why is you worried about everybody else's man and they penis? Girl, you out here talking like Dr. Damon on the cover of Vogue. And he should be on the cover of Vogue because he is an attractive man and he fat. So why you out here judging her? You sleeping right next to a fat man. So what's your issue? You weren't fat. You use some Groupons to get liposuction. So if you don't deal with the anti-fatness in here, the fat phobia in here, you can't help other fat folks. You open up weight loss clinics ain't finna do nothing for black women. I'm telling you that. That weight loss clinic ain't nothing but a get rich scheme. Period. If you really want to serve black women, you want to help black women, lift them up out of poverty, you can start with that. It's not a charge them how to get some waist trainers. You need, to you need to teach them up here. You need to listen to folks who are out here talking about fatness and anti-fatness and fat phobia. You need to be listening to folks instead of key keying with folks who ain't giving you no knowledge that you can use five, ten years from now. Because what you're doing ain't helping nobody. What you talking about, like, I'm dealing with fat phobia, I'm dealing with, you know, that, 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 that. Yes. And we appreciate what you were trying to do with the apology, but it was not an apology. So if you're going to get in here and say you apologize, show us the apology by changed behavior. You can't keep apologizing and continue to do the same stupid shit. You, you can't be continuously apologizing for something that you said and then, oh girl, that's not what I mean. Like, uh, 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 like you can't do that. We ain't stupid. We knew what you meant when you said that. We knew what you meant. We know what you mean when you said something about her stomach being all out. You wish you probably looked like Jasmine. That's what the issue is. And if you don't deal with this, if you don't deal with that girl, you can't help nobody else. You need to love who you are while you're simply projecting your insecurities, your stuff, on other folks. And I'm going to tell you, that light-skinned coach that you're talking, you need to get you a therapist. A real therapist. Because you talking to that light-skinned pastor ain't doing shit for you. You dealing with some real, real issues. And I'm going to tell you right now, Heavenly, I don't believe in looking into the future because I ain't raving. But since I'm telling you, if you don't deal with some of the stuff that you got going on, something is going to come and it's going to bite you in your ass. Because there's a reason why you be posting certain stuff. I caught on to why you posted that picture about your son being masked. I caught on to it, sis. I see it. You need to deal with that. While you're out here dragging folks and making comments, you need to deal with what you got going on over there. Because since your glass house is showing, and somebody's going to throw a real fat rock in there, and they're going to shatter all your hopes and dreams. So I hope you learn from this moment, because if you think Bravo going to protect you, if folks keep talking about how trash you are and they ain't going to watch it, they will get rid of your ass like they have with other women in the past. You are not safe sis especially not in this economy 
So the next time you make a comment and use fat as a derogatory term towards another fat woman, you think about how you feel about your own fatness before you try to project your insecurities on a big black woman that's out here doing what she wants to do with her body, okay, since you use the term big. We know what you're doing, so work on that, sis. That's all I got for you. Please tag Heavenly. Tell her to come on here watching. And Heavenly, if you want to sit down, we can do a live stream. We can. I don't mind talking to you, sis. But, girl, you got to get it together. I don't mind talking to you offline. But, sis, it's got to stop because you look real ridiculous.